Hi, I'm Dick Scott with RC Scott Photography. I recently posted a video on how to use the RCSP7 flash bracket, flash, and better beamer for doing nature photography. In that video, I did not mention the dangers of using a better beamer. In this quick video, I want to tell you about how to use the better beamer safely. You don't need to be afraid to use one, but you need to know what can happen. If you already have a better beamer, you should have seen and read the notice on the label on the case the better beamer lens comes in. It states the better beamer is a lens and therefore a magnifying glass. Please take this notice seriously. It does need to be covered unless you are using it. I will show you in a minute what can happen. Unfortunately, to get the best distance from the light coming from your flash, the better beamer is focused on about where the front of your flash is. This means if you point the better beamer into the sun, it will try to set the front of your flash or whatever it is focused on, on fire. If left long enough, and it doesn't take that long. Here is an example of how fast it will start a fire using a piece of cardboard. Once it is focused, it will start burning through this piece of cardboard in seconds. It will also do the same thing to your flash. Here is the front of my flash showing all the times I have had the better beamer start to burn a hole in my flash. I try to be careful, but if you get caught up in trying to take the picture and forget about the beamer, it will nail you every time. So what do you do about it? Here is my solution right here. You just need to remember to put it on, which I sometimes forget in the heat of trying to get that great shot I have pictured in my mind, and that's why the front of my flash looks like it does. I simply went to the craft store and bought a piece of camouflage cloth. It can be any kind of material as long as it blocks the light. I know how to sew, so I made the square cover and sewed Velcro on two of the sides so I can wrap it around my better beamer lens. I put the other half of the Velcro on the side of the beamer so the square will stick to the side. You just need to press the two Velcro tabs together to make sure they engage and you're all set. I have never had my cover come off in all the years I have been using it. The Better Beamer is a fantastic tool to help you take better pictures when you normally would not be able to get the shot. Don't be afraid to use it, just be cautious and do what I did and make a cover for it. I have never seen one for sale, but if enough people tell me they would buy one, I might start making them. Send me an email if you would buy one or if you have seen one for sale somewhere else. This video is in no way trying to discourage you from using the Better Beamer. It is just the opposite. I definitely recommend using it, but you need to be careful. Even though I have put burn marks all over the front of my flash, I would never stop using it. Even if I accidentally trashed my flash, I would either buy a new flash or repair the one I burned. I have gotten too many great shots that I would not have been able to get without it, so I would not even think about giving it up. If you found this video informative and educational, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more of my videos as they come out, please hit the subscribe button. If you have any questions or comments, please send me an email through YouTube or to my email address, dscott at rcscottphotography.com. My website is www.rcscottphotography.com. If you are interested in using a flash bracket and don't have one, please check out the RCSP7 flash bracket I build and sell on my website. I'm Dick Scott. Thanks very much for watching.